In this tutorial, we will be looking at simplifying rational expressions. You should already be familiar with simplifying monomial and binomial expressions. Here, we will be looking at any rational expression. This means the denominator and numerator could have any polynomial type. We will follow the same two main steps as before. 1. Factor both the numerator and the denominator. 2. Simplify any common factors between the numerator and the denominator. When simplifying rational expressions, it is important to be familiar and comfortable with the various methods of factoring polynomials. We will look at a couple of examples here. It is important to note that there are as many possibilities for the types of expressions you might get as there are combinations of different factoring methods of polynomials. While we will only go through a couple, all the steps apply to all of them. Now, let's consider some examples. Simplify the following rational expression. Step 1. Factor both the numerator and the denominator. This is where it is really important to be comfortable and confident on how to factor polynomials. In the numerator, we can factor out a 3x to get 3x multiplying x plus 7. Next, we factor the denominator. Positive 7 and negative 2 add together to get 5 and multiply together to get negative 14. So our denominator is x plus 7 multiplying x minus 2. Now that our numerator and denominator are fully factored, we can move on to step 2. Simplify any common factors between the numerator and the denominator. We can see that x plus 7 is a common factor and can be cancelled. This leaves us with a final answer of 3x over x minus 2. Here we will simplify a more complicated rational expression. This means that we may have to use multiple factoring methods on each polynomial. Step 1. Factor both the numerator and the denominator. The first thing we always want to check for is if there are any common factors. We can factor out a 4z from the numerator and a 4x from the denominator. If you're not sure how to factor trinomials and messy trinomials, I encourage you to review both as we will not be going through how to factor these. Our trinomial in the numerator factors to z plus 4 multiplying z plus 5. Our messy trinomial in the denominator factors to 3z minus 2 multiplying z plus 4. Now that our numerator and denominator are fully factored, we can move on to step 2. Simplify any common factors between the numerator and the denominator. We have a couple of common factors. The 4s and the z plus 4 factors cancel, leaving us with our final simplified answer. In this lesson, you learned about simplifying rational expressions. This process has two key steps. Step 1. Factor both the numerator and the denominator. Step 2. Simplify any common factors between the numerator and the denominator. Remember, in order to factor rational expressions, you need to know the different methods of factoring polynomials.